In this lecture, we'll discuss reverse Polish notation, or RPN, and focus on converting RPN expressions to infix and infix expressions to RPN. RPN expressions have two main benefits. The first benefit is that it does not require brackets or parentheses. The second benefit is that there are no rules of precedence or an order of evaluation. So let's go ahead and look at an infix to RPN example. First, we create two stacks, a stack and an operator stack. If we reach an operand, we put that on the stack. If we reach an operator, we put that on the operator stack. The bracket is an operator, so we add it to the operator stack, and 2 we add to the stack. Plus is an operator, so we add that to the operator stack, and x is an operand, so we add that to the stack. Now along the way, we need to ask the question, does the previous operator have the same precedence or a higher precedence than the one we just added to the stack? If the answer is no, then we just continue on. So in this case, plus does not have a higher precedence or the same precedence as division, so we continue on. We'll add 8 to the stack. So now we've reached a closing bracket, so anything within those brackets needs to be popped top to bottom and pushed onto the stack. We reach the end of our expression, and there's only one thing left on the operator stack, so we go ahead and pop that and push that onto the stack, and our final expression should resemble the RPN expression shown on the right side. Let's go ahead and look at another example. We're going to go ahead and add 2 to the stack, star to the operator stack, 3 to the stack, plus to the operator stack. So now we've reached a scenario where the multiplication operator has a higher precedence than the plus operator. So we go ahead and remove that from the operator stack and push it onto the stack. Then we go ahead and add 12 to the stack, division to the operator stack, 4 to the stack. We've reached the end of our expression, so we pop everything, and our final RPN expression should resemble the one on the right. So let's look at an example where two operators might have the same precedence. So in this case, multiplication and division. So we'll go ahead and add A to the stack, star to the operator stack, B to the stack, and now we've reached the case where multiplication is the same as division. We leave the operator that was just added to the stack, and we remove and push the previous operator. Then we go ahead and add C to the stack, and we've reached the end of our expression, so we go ahead and push the division onto the stack. And our final expression will resemble the one on the right. It's also possible to use a stack to go from RPN to infix. So in this case, we add A to a stack, then B to the stack. And now that we've reached an operator, we go ahead and apply that to the last two operands on the stack. So in this case, A times B. Then we add C to the stack, and we've reached an operator, so we go ahead and apply that to the last two operands on the stack to give us the final expression of a times b divided by c.